Hello and welcome to chapter 196 of our streaming adventure. Uh, it's been a while since we played. Uh, I lost a friend of mine and that really didn't put me in the mood to play games. And if I'm not playing games, I'm likely not streaming those games. So uh, we had a service for him on Sunday that I went to and I think that helped me. And with that, it's time to get back on the horse or the goblin. Don't get on a goblin. Don't. Never mind. Um, <laughs> we're, we're back to stream today with goblins. And I've tried this deck before as the conspicu conspicuous snoop bogger harbinger. Will you guys calm down? The dogs are vying for my attention. Um, I've tried this before as the more combo version, and I think that was even prior to Muxus existing. So this is should be should be a pretty straightforward either Vial or Goblin Lackey on turn one. Other than that, how quickly can we power our power out of Muxus, get a bunch of value, and win with said value? And then sideboard options, Blood Moon, Chalice, one, Chalice of the Void. For what? Storm? So you can play it on zero? That kind of feels terrible. I mean, I, I can see not necessarily ramping. Do I have two mana lands at all? Like it's not like the Chrome Mox version that was almost like a like Turbo Muxus that with Skirk Prospector and you're you're trying to spit out a bunch of goblins as soon as you can to just Muxus Muxus complete keep replaying Muxus. I don't know this sideboard is a trip, but they five would put anything in five o. I bet you goblins can five o. Well, I hope so. With that. Let's play a league. Yes, please. Thank you, thank you. So we've got the wheel deck today, and then after that, we have this coming Saturday is the Mana Traders Swiss rounds for the Legacy event. Now, not having played really Legacy at all with the new set, and that makes me wonder, should I have anything? Are there even goblins in Strixhaven? I don't know. But Strixhaven being legal for Legacy, what does that really mean? Right now, it means the Wither... Wither Bloom? Witherbloom Cadet. <laughs> I'm I'm assuming it's like whatever the low rung of the totem pole of being Witherbloom is. Witherbloom something mage and chain of smog. That combination together to trigger mage craft over and over. Listening to podcasts and, and seeing people talk on Twitter, it seems like it's fragile. Then again, what if you like turn one, thought sees the card out of their hand, you know, see they don't have anything, they're foolish enough to just play white cards and then you just smash them. We're on the draw. All right, so there is no Goblin Lackey and there is no Aether Vial here, so therefore I believe we are required to shift. Hey, welcome, welcome. Mulligan. I have an Aether Vial, therefore this is the best deck of all time. What did they do? They kept seven. 
I like the idea of turn one mana, turn two. I think I got to keep. So does Abrupt Decay. Nice, nice hate pieces. Um, which of these is theoretically the worst? I mean, it's probably Chain Whirler or Goblin Crater Maker. Crater Maker, or Chain Whirler gives me something to do. I'm going to ship Chain Whirler. All right, turn one, Mountain Aether Vial. Chromox, just dead. Just dead. Didn't didn't even matter what cards I clicked on. Just dead. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for supporting the Dr. Pepper. Elvish, Spirit Guide, Dryad Arbor, Ancient Tomb. I don't know what's going on. That's problematic. No, we get the Crater Maker. Crater Maker blows up the Chalice, and then we get to either one. See? Just, just like we drew it up. Well, I was thinking to get the Aether Violin to play. What are, what are they playing? At first, I saw the Chrome Mox and Green Sun Zenith can go get Wither Bloom Dude. I don't know the card name. Card name Wither Bloom Apprentice. Bam! Wither Bloom. Mana Gorger Hydra. We're dead, folks. We're dead. I am so totally. I. I should have kept Goblin Crater Makers, damn you. I think that's trample. Nice. That's a that's a sweet draw there, you dungus. Well I have the feeling that Pyro Pyrokinesis might be good against them. All right, so if nobody plays any more spells, Crater Maker can kill the Hydra. Or we just die to the Hydra. Ah, oh, cheater playing a spell. I don't know, maybe they're going to deal enough damage with the Ancient Tomb? What is this? Heck. Sure. We are playing against the Green Binder deck. Who am I kidding? I am playing Goblin. All right, so hear me out. Munitions expert. Damage equal to target creature or planeswalker to the number of goblins you control. So, I'm just wondering, do I need to start either violing now? Do I have Sting, whatever, the bounce one? Sting Scourger. 
Of course not. So what I'm thinking here is I can kill Tarmogoyf with this. Yeah, I'm going to do it this way. Yep. I'm telling you. We are going to get them. They're taking they're taking so much damage. They're at 10. What's this thing do? I start draining life. So hear me out. Munitions expert. Okay, block this. Give them a chance to misassign damage. I don't know. For the shot. All right, so. I'm just going to die to the stupid thing. It doesn't matter. What could I possibly find? I need to be able to swing in for the kill. That's that's honestly what I need. But right now I'm dead to I'm dead on board. I'll get pile driver. I'll get pile driver to send a message. To scare them to stay home. Literally all they have to do is attack. Questing beast. Yeah, that works. You you got me. Can't block. Cool. I don't even know what to write down. Green cards stompy. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be polite. Okay. So other goblins you control sack destroy an artifact like it. Kill creatures in play. Kill creatures in play. If we didn't if we didn't even have the crater maker, that first game would not have mattered. Mm. Is gem palm incinerator potentially? Hey, Stato Liquido. 
We will try to get back to Vintage sometime soon. Mana Trader series this month is Legacy, and I am qualified for the Mana Traders event on Saturday, so we definitely have had a little bit more Legacy focus lately. Goblin Pile Driver is probably... I, I just feel like Goblin Pile Driver is weaker here than maybe in other cases. I don't know that blood... Did they even have a forest in play? They had Elvish Spirit Guides, which makes Blood Moon definitely makes them less impressive. I will do my best to get back to Vintage as soon as I can. I feel like, am I maybe overloading on the creature removal? I mean, they're a creature deck. Yes, I'm overloading on creature removal, Jeremy. Just deal with it. All right, pile drivers out. I will try that. Would I like to play first? Yes. Would I like to keep a turn one lackey, turn something, other cards? Yes. Now, does it make more sense to clear a red? Or I should say... Mm, yeah, I'll get bad lands. In vintage, what would you counter an oath set? I expect my opponents to play oath. If I expect my opponents to play oath, I would play combo. Um, don't give them the ability to have creatures to make them work for needing the creatures. I guess is what I'm going to say, if that makes sense. I could have also turn one. I could have turn one prospectored to try to get turn two war chief. Dredge is another good answer. Dredge can really stick it to them. Containment priest can help neuter. So, if I attack, they're just going to block. You never know. Maybe they won't. Come on. Fall for it. Ah. Uh. What's, what's the worst that could happen? Goblin. Goblin. Just gives them haste, right? Elvish Spirit Guide has been hitched. Is this Questing Beast again? Nope. Just na just natural order. Go get Mana Gorger Hydra. Sure. I can beat a Progenitus. Is that all you got? Right on time, Aether Vial. All right, so we wait for them to attack, and then I'm going to somehow need to get one big turn in. So what I'm wondering, if I... I could matron for... Hey, wow, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we're trying to play goblins here, and I'm about to totally die to a progenitus. But I'm just trying to find... I, I can't even imagine a way out of this. If I play War Chief first, then at least I have the haste available to me. I feel like that's what I need to do first. 
It still feels terrible. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, I want to play this. Give me red, red, red. All right, so we have a war chief, and I'm going to pass. And then it's like I almost need matron could turn into pile driver, but that's not enough. That's not going to be enough to break through. And if they play another creature here, like, I don't know, a land... Lanwar Visionary for the Brick Wall. They got they got more. Here, bring on the Hex Shrinker. You have the full-grown Progenitus and then Baby Progenitus. They are a protection from everything tribal. <laughs> well then. That's that's what we needed. So we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be a little short here. Yeah. Uh, it said they were double queuing, and I believe they don't talk in chat. I've tried before. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna chalk that one up to a loss, and jump back in and try again. Thank you again, Jim Davis, for the raid. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm doing one of my weekly leagues where I play something off the wheel. The subscribers to my channel get to give me suggestions for the wheel. And at the end of the, I spin it, something comes up, and I have to play in Soul Artifact or Stoneforge Mystic or... What does that say? Time Vault. Various things come up on the wheel and I have to play it. And last time around, the wheel decided that I was going to play Goblins. Now, they give me a single card or an archetype or a format to play. And then from that, I get to make the decisions. Like Goblins, I get to see what kind of Goblins I want to play. But, so, just just so you know, it's not going to be a goblin stream every week. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to fool you. Let, I just want you to be prepared. But this week it's goblins, and sometimes you get destroyed by a frickin' progenitus. Yes, absolutely. Amazon Prime means you have Twitch Prime. And if you aren't spending it anywhere else, please consider spending it with me. It buys more Dr. Pepper. It gets the dogs dog treats. And when you subscribe, we throw something on the wheel for you. And when it comes up, that's what we'll play. And that was some nice timing. Let's join our match. On the play, I like it. Uh, I copied a list that was 5-0. I don't know exactly who it was. I don't believe it was Goblin Lackeys because I would have recognized that name. Uh, no. I'm going by no Goblin Lackey, no Aether Vial is a mulligan here. I feel like those are still the heuristics you go by. No Goblin Lackey, no. This doesn't feel ter- No, I do have to throw a card back, though. Hmm. No, I'm going to go again. All right, this has everything. Keep. All right, so... Hear me out. I feel like Caracas is slow. So I'm going to put that down. And then the question is, do I want lackeys and Aether Vial? Like, it might be worth diversifying. I'm gonna send one lackey back. I'm gonna send the worst. I'm gonna send the worst art back. 
You can put exclamation point deck in the chat and it will tell you what I'm playing right now. Uh, I'll have to look up here in a second to see who I copied. How much better would this have been as a Cavern of Souls? All right. Sorry, I'm just opening up my old tabs to see whose deck I copied. This is who I copied. We'll say Catern with a 5-0. That is who I copied. Swords. Is it? Well, then there you go. They tricked me. I thought their name was Goblin Lackey 1. Brainstorm, I'll allow it. Yeah, I really do appreciate it. That was awesome. All right. Ah, tricky, tricky. Okay. I will rumble. I would like to put this goblin permanent into play. No, thank you. Oh, that was a this is a sweet draw. I will take my one gem palm incinerator. Barf. All right, Aether Vile can start cranking up. Basic Island makes me think. Okay, well that changed my mind. I I I had an idea what I thought it was, but Wooded Foothills has disabused me of that notion. All right, inbound. Uh, what do you call it? What's the, what's the snow snake? Whatever the snow snake is, I think that's what is what is in my future. So drawing a land here would be terrific. Terrific. Look at this. Terrific, I would say. All right, let's rumble. Player snake, I dare you. I dare you. I was tricked. No snakes. There is a complete lack of snakes. I mean, at at work. Well, yeah, that's true. But maybe, maybe they forgot, Steve. You don't know. That'd be hilarious if they, I mean, it probably is sitting up on their screen like I do. I, I pop it out so they can see that it's sitting there waiting for them. Uh, Swamp, what is it? Dead of, okay. I was going to say dead of whatever, but I can't think of it right now. Blue, red, green, food chain. That's bad. This says May, correct? So that's not going to do me any good. I'm just going to cycle this now. Nope. All right. I'm trying to get to a point where I could potentially have enough damage to burn them out. And hitting off ringleader here might work. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. 
Step one, let's attack. Oh, I fully assume I fully expect to die if they untap. All right, crater maker and a mog war marshal. Let's. This should be plenty. Yes, please. Mog War Marshal. I'll choose you, Pikachu. Sacrifice this goblin. I'm hoping the writing is on the wall, but otherwise we can click a bunch. Choose you. Eat this goblin. Maybe they're hoping I double click with the sling game. I don't know. I could, I could theoretically. I'm not really familiar with the deck enough that accidentally click twice and suddenly I've sacrificed the sling gang and womp womp womp. All right, let's update the record. We we got we got beat by the progenitus deck in the first one. Okay, so. Food chain setting up. They've already shown that they have their their basic basic centered, so that makes Blood Moon less impressive. Um, brainstorm. They could have counter spell. Well, they do likely have counter spell related things. Is that what I'm hoping? Pyroblast, Red Blast type stuff. I think I want, well, I think I want Mind Break Trap just as a way for when they build up to their main card to be able to exile that. I don't really feel like Surgical Extraction will be useful against them because any of the things that they're burning through, they can play from exile anyway. Mm. I kind of feel like the munitions experts are going to be like, okay, they, they could have the snake and stuff like that early as a way to set up to those bigger things. I'm just thinking out loud. Goblins, I'm not, no lie. Goblins, not really my style of deck. So, figuring out how best to do these things. Is food, is food chain a mana ability? I think technically it is, which is BS. Why can't I submit? That's interesting. I don't know if it's sideboarded. I thought I cut one more card for it to go down to 60, but it didn't it did not accept my sideboarding. Took too long talking. Took too long talking. All right, they're going to mulligan. Well, this hand sucks. I'll mulligan. This is a 61 card deck. Uh, 
I was I was tricked. This hand isn't any good. That's that's what happened. I was tricked. I'll put that one back and I don't know. We can keep Gem Palm Incinerator here, but I kind of want to keep everything else. So they're going to go turn one land. I'm going to go Goblin Lackey. They're going to have turn two up. I'm going to have to swing with Lackey. I'm going to put this down. That's what it was. Thank you. Thank you, Infinity, for that, that helpful tidbit. That was what the problem was. I did not realize it's a 61 card main deck. Like, I clicked the Goblin Lackey first and then tried to pay mana. Just let me do that. Just let me have my thing. I'm sure there are reasons to play. What do you got? Manipulate Fate. Powerful card back from the olden days. I say the olden days, but Invasion is probably like the 20th set. I I am very old. I played during Exodus. I played during Exodus. I played during Revised. That was my first starter was Revised. These are not great draws. Let's thin the deck a little bit. Get ourselves a Badlands. Okay. Tag. That's what we had to shuffle the sling gang back. That's what it was. Matron. Ugly matron. Okay. Can I get all of them in play? I could play Prospector for sure. I play Prospector for sure with an option to still cycle the Incinerator if needed. But I don't I don't want to. I could also main phase cast matron to put Muxus in hand for Lackey to flip over. All right, hear me out. I just want to kill that bird. I kind of want to eat the ringleader. I'll let him go. I'll let him go eat some more cards. Because Skirt Prospector will let me have mana after Muxus flips over a bunch of stuff. That's what I'm thinking there. And I would rather have access to the mana. Got rid of windswept heath. I I I can I concur. All right, give me that red mana. Cycle this. Shoot your bird of paradise in the face. Yes, this time. So, does that change anything? Now I gotta look at my deck.
Well, now I feel like I go and get... That's true. I totally believe that. Hey, thank you for the follow. No, that is a good call. Get... Get Muxus in play first, and then we look at what we need. Okay. We get our attack on. Because maybe it just barfs everything I want. And then it's, had I matron to take it out of the deck, that's one less card for Muxus to flip over, and then I look like a buffoon. Don't, if you can help it, don't look like a buffoon. I mean, I do that plenty already. All right, swing with the team. I have some effects. I would like to put this goblin permanent into play. I would like to whatever that thing. All right, I got a pile driver and some friends. You may have a deal. I will target munitions expert. I will say no. All right, so based on this, I could get red. Sack this dude. Yes, please. I forgot my guys cost less, so that was bad. We'll go get a sling gang. Then I'll get black gear. Sack this one. Play sling gang. And then the question would be, I could do three again, or I could just wait. I don't know. Can they kill me right now? I want to say no. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe I could drain them for eight if I did everything. Sure. I mean, this pile driver is going to attack for 47, so... Yeah, I was going to say, just, just this attack is plenty. Well, all right, turn that around. Lose the first one, 0-2. Oh, win the next one, 2-0. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Thank you, everybody, who's watching with me. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit follow on the channel. It's kind of free, right? There's nothing you have to do other than see when I go live later on. I usually stream Tuesdays. Tuesdays are when I have this subscriber-driven content of playing a, something from the wheel. Thursday is me prepping for the weekend. Prepping for the weekend. Excuse me. And then I tend to play challenges on either Saturday or Sunday, like Legacy or Vintage. I definitely have been playing more Legacy lately. I've just been enjoying that more. But we have Mana Trader series for this coming Saturday. So that, I'm not necessarily going to play this, but I'm trying to get, lost the die roll, I'm trying to get in the mindset. Has anybody really seen Strixhaven cards making a big impact for them in Legacy? I've heard people talking about Strixhaven, but I, I haven't played it myself yet. All right, we got a lackey. That's what we're here for. Do I get basic? Once upon a time, 
there was a sad little crab. And that crab spit out Hogak and friends. Allosaur Shepherd. All right, this is elves. So turn one. Red Flipwalker. Which one is that? You have to do exclamation point card first. All right, so I am going to use this to go get. I could just get basic mountain to start. Then I could follow up with munitions expert. Rowan Scholar of Spark. Making it have it be a planeswalker that can make stuff cost less. That's interesting. Heritage Druid. Okay. Now I have to be mindful that they could. What's the card? So the question here has to be, am I willing to trade Goblin Lackey? I know they have an Allosaurus Shepherd in hand. I'm going to take this opportunity to gun down the symbiote. Because they could just pick it up with Heritage. So now, if I send Lackey in, and they let me have it, or they block with the land, or they block with Heritage. I don't think they'll block with Heritage. But I think I committed myself to this. I'll trade off the land. Ideally, I would want wasteland to trade off with that. Yeah, I I think it's I I would be willing I would be willing to mog fanatic away that heritage druid. So the fact they did that, I think I'm totally okay with. It. So now here. I almost think I'm setting a stop so I can get Richard in port so that I can try to hold down their mana, maybe. It's still blowing my mind about the 61 cards, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> Guy is Cradle. That's a rough one. All right, maybe we're on Wasteland now. Okay. How about... Well, if you're just going to keep shipping them to me... And I'll stay home on defense. They have two mana available to them. This is six to activate. I guess I have to play. I, I'm I'm the attrition based side of this, right? I'm trying to trade my resources to keep them off mana, keep them off stuff. Like Wasteland here will just shoot Dryad Arbor in the face. They could hit another cradle here. Shout out, Dr. Pepper. Okay, they hit a Heritage Druid. Keep them off natural order. 
we've already seen the bad things that happen when somebody gets to play progenitus on you. All right, so Heritage Druid will let them have one here, three. I think the best I can really do is try to pick that off. And then I think I swing, because they can't really trade, because they're waiting for Heritage Druid to come online. There's no way they trade. Unless, yeah, I was going to say, unless I'm crazy, they're not going to trade there. So, theoretically, Heritage Druid is deployed. That gives them three mana. Then I can start porting the forest on upkeep to keep them kind of off four. This is this is not going well. Return, untap, return. They would have to replay. If they have one more elf here. One more elf here lets them untap, have three mana, and could replay. It does say creature, yeah. Alright, so we're going to set that stop. We're going to play a port. And really not sure how much we're hoping for here, but because they can tap for three, untap that. I'll, I'll do my best. Bum, bum, bum. The one... We've had a lot of lands this game, not going to lie. Versus our opponents, two, three. They had Dryad Arbor, too. What do you got? You have a new forest. Well, crap. I don't know if I can handle second forest. Yep. So they're where they started, plus a card, plus a mana. Seems pretty good. So we'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So they don't have enough for the dinosaur overrun yet. I, w I would love to draw relevant cards. <laughs> Opponent's thinking, at least. Like, I, I feel like Chain Whirler, sign me up. I like, I like how you're thinking, Infinity. Green Sun. Is this going to get queried? Or just another Nettle Sentinel. They could have tapped first, right? Or a what? Okay. They've already played a land at least, so they'll do the same thing. They'll untap. It's just giving me another chance to draw that Chain Whirler. Although they are they are gaining cards and I'm not. OK, 
Okay. Not going to block that one. I'll take two. All right, if I let them go crazy on their turn, I don't think holding the one forest back is enough anymore. What do you got? War Chief, Matron. Next turn, two, three, four. That's a good use of that. They got their free attack, basically. One, two, three to two. That's not enough. I was I was trying to see if I could tutor up Chain Whirler here. I like them tapping the elves that start. Well, that's those are the only elves they have to tap. So those are the only elves that are even there. Another visionary. I just realized, I was like, why are you clicking yes? Just yield through the turn. What are you going to do? Block? Cradle seems good. Oh, 11 mana. Perhaps a Green Sun Zenith? Nope, just cast that guy? Sure. 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 All right. Pile Driver on the weaker side. Crater Maker being able to deal damage, but I don't know if that's the damage that we're looking for, whereas Incinerator, Incinerator feels better. Pyrokinesis. Pithing Needle to turn off a Wirewood Idiot. Mm. Sur like kill something and then surgical it. Mind Break. I agree. That's a good one. Chalice feels less than impressive when they have the Allosaurus, but... Are they going to keep the Allosaurus guy? We don't know. They do only have two forests. This is an actual... They only have two forests in their deck. Well, okay. Most only have two forests. And then I'm noticing the Caracas here. Caracas can come out. I just, Surgicals, no, Pyroblast, no, Trash Master. I like the plus one, but he costs four. So what I have to be mindful here is that only five cards go into the sideboard. So Caracas is one. I could do two Pile Drivers, a Crater Maker, and then one more card. I feel like Crater Maker is going to do more things randomly just farting on a guy as opposed to a, I can see a pile driver swinging and then they're just like block, pick up my thing, and it doesn't have trample. It's not necessarily going to break through at all. That, yes, that's a, a big source of damage, but it, I don't feel like it's the same kind of thing. Okay, so 
I believe we have correctly sideboarded to the right number of cards. I'm just I'm just looking through every I do think my I think Blood Moon has a chance to be tricky. I don't know it's good, but I think it has a chance to be tricky. I like tricky. Would I like to play first? Yes. I have Goblin Lackey and Chain Whirler and Pyrokinesis. Sign me up. You kidding me? I couldn't have clicked keep faster. Goblin Lackey, go. I am going to chain whirl you so hard. I turn my upkeep to off. Metal Sentinel, huh? Be a shame if that thing got shot in the face. I'm just thinking, am I going to find something better here? I could also waste that. That's the other thing. Is, but here's what I'm thinking. I waste this. Eat the Nettle Sentinel. And then drop a Ringleader. I do want more value though. I do I do want value. Okay, I do like value, but I really do like just sticking it to somebody. You know what I mean? Like what if I just smoke that dude for four? I will exile the war marshal since I'm not gonna play it here. And then ringleader lets me load up. Like, I, I think they have the chance to be more explosive. I don't want to let them somehow take advantage of Gaius Cradle on their turn. So I'll just pick up a bunch of these things, and I'll play a Skirk Prospector, and I'll have Gem Palm Incinerator ready to go. Well, my plan was that Matron will get Muxus. Is that poor? That was my thought. Pack with everybody. Theoretically, okay, I was going to say, I actually should have cast Matron, then attacked, and farted out Muxus. All right, well, we won that one. I like my aggressive line of kill their stuff. I just had to talk myself into it. This card looks like a nightmare. I never actually played when this was in standard. Like, I opened cards... I believe I was playing a vintage side event at the SCG Con that the new Teferi, this is the five mana Teferi that untapped your lands and, or you drew a card and you untapped two lands. I was playing that in vintage Jeskai. Spoilers, it was really good. And I think I untapped to hold up Mana Drain or something absurd. But, like, the point is, my vintage side event, I got packs of Dominaria. So that was cool. Crater, Maker, Crater Maker's not terrible. 
Whatever, I'll keep. How about another sweet hand? Give me the sweet one. Aether Vile, and that's it. Like, this doesn't feel good enough. But it's got a chance. Oh, I was going to say, are you going to thought seize me? Because that'd be bad. That's interesting. Tap out for something like that I can mind break trap. Please. Well, that's just BS. Draw another one. <laughs> All right, hear me out. Bye, buddy. Big box, no whammies. We just have to draw a removal for their Dryad Arbor. That is spell number two. I guess they still untap, even if it's uh, just triggering. Would it have been different to kill the arbor instead? Had we killed the arbor instead, it's one less creature for a possible guy's cradle turn. So that would be a reason to have taken out the dryad arbor. Glimpse of nature. That's one. That's bad. Because they're still going to draw the card. Maybe, maybe they'll run out of creatures. Maybe they'll tap all this for a natural order. Or a heritage druid. That would be nice if only. What's what's the thing that like clears the stack? That would be the sweet one. It says exile any number of target spells. 
but there's something that's like clear the stack off. I, I've seen that before. I'm just waiting for them to go, not for just like a simple creature. We will let Once Upon a Time resolve. There is, there is something that does something similar, Steve, but it's not that. Crater Hoof Behemoth, that's a good one. Unfortunately for you, we're going to trap the crap out of that one. Oh, uh, see, they're smart. They're going to hold on. Holding on to the crater hook. Until they can also force of uh, natural order. There is a blue spell that does it. It's like counter like everything that's on the stack, but I can't think of what it is. I'm trying to click on this. Summary dismissal. There we go. Plasma's got it. Thank you, Plasma. Did you run out of gas yet? You're killing me, Smalls. Just another one? Cool. They're like, I'll just, I'll just draw another one. It's cool. It's cool. Maybe, maybe they'll draw all. Imagine if this had been our pith. Come on, just draw lands. Draw lands and bayou. Bayou is a land, Jeremy. I meant abrupt decay, okay? Untap that. Do they have a second crater hoof? I couldn't yield. Like I got nothing else going on this turn. I've got I've got blocks. That's it. Just blocks. I'm sure this is exciting, but I got to tell you from my side, feels a little bad. There we go. We'd sharp. I would sharp. Uh oh. Now, now they can play that abrupt decay I asked them to draw with their seven card hand. They should have played it as a morph. They should have they should have showed me what for. Play a morph. You know what? I'm going to run to the bathroom.
He's still not dead yet, huh? I, oh, are we going for hard cast progenitus? I see that they are generating different colors of mana. Bravo if this is hard cast progenitus. I, I will con I'll concede to that. Yep, there's black mana. They're working their way, they're working their way around the horn. Glimpse of nature is not a may, correct? Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any way you just you just stop casting creatures. But hear me out. What if they were so involved so involved with the combo that for whatever reason they're not paying attention and when they cast progenitus it they had multiple glimpse triggers and somehow died i'm just saying it'd be funny i would be i would be amused Yep. So I just I just want to point out that so far our two match losses have been to cards that have protection from everything. Now round one matchup and round three matchup slightly different. Oh, they retained some black mana. Are you going to abrupt decay me, sir? They did. Touche. Flawless victory. I need to activate I need to activate Aether Vial in response to whatever is gonna happen here. I'm gonna activate Aether Vial. No. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I wanted I wanted to get him with the value play there. Just to let him know. Just to let him know. Well, I had actually already gotten rid of Crater Hoof. I don't know if you saw that. I uh when they went for Crater Hoof, I had the trap for that, mind break trap. So whether they had the second one, oh, match number four already, playing on the draw. We've been on the draw three times. That does not help. Yeah, I didn't expect Crater Hoof to come. I think that's why they were digging so hard. Um... Well, we have Aether Vial, but we, we have nothing to do with it. We also are on the draw. Yeah, like, I was saying that my mulligan rules were either Lackey or Aether Vial, but I don't think I can support Aether Vial with one creature in my hand. Like, see, this seems way better. So I'll keep this. I don't know what I want. I'm thinking theoretically the worst card is Gem Palm. Worst card is Gem Palm because I don't have the cards in play. They have to be in play for Gem Palm. Basic Island, Ponder. Let me zoom in on if it helps you. When Sling Gang enters the battlefield, you make two tokens, and you can sack a goblin to drain them. So if you have a bunch of stuff in play, it can, like, drain them out. Is what it's for. Uh, 
Do you have force? Do you have days? They did shuffle off the ponder. Force of negation, pitching a Jace, the Mind Sculptor. All right, well, this port's going to be good on turn two. Pondering again. I am definitely glad we shipped the uh, incinerator. There's some sweet draws here, buddy. Like, the Jace definitely makes me think that. Yeah, Mishra's Bobble triggers... Mishra's Bobble triggers, uh, what do you call it? Miracles. That's why. Fetching here. I almost played the wasteland. I why I should have played the wasteland. There's no need to get because even okay, even if they got basic there, right? Even if they got basic, wasteland could force them to have a more imperfect brainstorm. You know what I mean? That would have been a better use of the of the time or of the land drop, I should say. Since I have an extra wasteland here, although hey, I am going to get to tag the tundra next turn, I would think they would have more basics, but They only have four cards that they're actively working with. Meanwhile, team munition expert over here. Just, just, just imagine this were a wasteland. I'm kind of grumbly over that. Snap caster mage. When is this? End step. They want that brainstorm. So I could keep them off. They're going to have a three mana play here, potentially four, unless I do something. So I think I'm willing to pour here. See, I almost think, do you wait to snap there? Okay. They have Ponder available to them here. Kicking out the uh, revealed cards pile. Ponder did not shuffle there. Do they normally have what's the blue cycling enchantment? Shark Typhoon. They normally have Shark Typhoon, right? Thank you. 
I take that out. The bauble makes me think that, what do you call it, is a lock. I don't know. This brainstorm is interesting. I, I'm i always going to be partial to the Chris Rush brainstorm. I just can't help it. Yeah, blue-white with a bauble. It's because they're trying to get the extra draw. For sure. Right on time. <clears throat> Do you think they have a third Tundra in their deck? It could be a Mystic Sanctuary. Nope, just all the basics. Jace the Mind Sculptor, decent card. All right, so here's my thought. They swing in. Munitions Expert picks one off. Yes, please. Not going to block. That's Planeswalker, right? Swords, I allow it. I was more worried about, I got to keep them off of the Terminus. You know what I mean? You going to swing here? I dare you. I do not win this race. What I'm wondering is, do I matron for... Brainstorm. Did I tar what did I target? I thought I targeted the planes. I did target the planes. They're looking for another one. Got it.
What do you got for me? Brainstorming. Brainstorm. They can, I can't even see brains. I was going to say brainstorming Norman. But they are ocean soul. Do I go for another one right now? Yeah. Let's keep them constrained. I was like, did I even choose the right land? I'm not positive. See, now that's what I was saying. Do I need to worry about them playing, what do you call it? Port here. Not port. Portent. There it is. Solved it. One, two, three, four. One, two. Do I care about that? Okay. I was unexpectedly absent there. Uh oh, Mystic Sanctuary, what's coming? A new brainstorm. They're paying some costs. They got something. This has to be Shark Typhoon, right? Oh no! All of the absence! Like I was going to say, I've already forgotten at what point am I drawing various cards. Let me tap your planes. Pass. I am click I am clicking a lot. We know they have a brain they picked up a brainstorm. They've deployed two snapcaster maybe.
Um, That's what I was thinking. Does it have haste, though? I was thinking of like a one drop, but. All the brainstorms. Do they want to clear with the Misty? Something's happening. Are we unexpectedly absent for the third time? Predict. Is this is this time for unexpectedly absent? I've already forgotten what is there. Muxus. Incorrect, good sir. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I was going to say, am I theoretically in trouble here? So they're drawing Entreat. They can pay the mana for Entreat here. Okay. You, you may have some angels. I plan to kill you. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we've got them here. So let's play Pashalik for red, colorless, colorless. And let's play Sling Gang. Adam, watch how you talk to Aaron. Hey, we got that one. Obviously, obviously the control, the control goblins player got him. Classic, classic control goblins. All right. So, Relic of Progenitus to help keep all of that nonsense under control. And then Pyroblasts and Red Blasts? I think I don't think Surgical is right. Surgical isn't going to do anything. I do like that Munitions Expert shot Jace in the face. That was great. It was like, oh, what do you got going on over there? Okay, so... Incinerator feels... Uh, incinerator is something that can take a shark out. And maybe the munition, the munitions experts can still shoot planeswalkers. Monastery Mentor, that's a good point. I mean, is this a case where Chain Whirler is just worse than Munitions Expert? Because we just said Munitions Expert can shoot down a planeswalker. Jace or Chain Wooler is just going to shoot it for one. That doesn't feel good enough. Crater Maker. Crater Maker feels it can, but I don't think that's what I'm hoping for. I I kind of want to get to the point where I can set up Sling Gang and and nonsense. 
Well, they have Mystic Sanctuary. That was my main thought. They like the they're going to set up to keep putting stuff back. So maybe I don't need relic. I was just thinking as a way to disrupt Snapcaster, disrupt Mystic Sanctuary of the World. That's that's all I was going for is the how can I mess with them plan. Mm, okay. If I trim one relic. I can keep the Chain Whirler. All right, 15 cards in the sideboard. I get to keep one Chain Whirler for, for Monk Duty. Submit. Submit my 61-card deck. This hand is amazing. Keep. I uh Jim Davis rated me earlier, Aaron. It was it was pretty awesome. Now, to be fair, he rated me with this many people. And and we've and we've we've come down to here, but I I I haven't scared them all the way right off the bat, so I got that going for me, which is nice. Yeah, Infinity has been very interesting keeping infinity has been very helpful in chat it is very nice to have it. now this version is not the conspicuous snoop whatever it's just kind of muxus and triggers and all that jazz I can turn this off. I don't have my uh... exclamation point deck. There you go. You got it. Now they're on max tundra here. Can I punish that? They did not shuffle. So they got me with swords. I don't think they play days. I can't imagine they days, but No, this is Now, apparently this is Goblin Lackey 1 just under a different uh, his magic online name is different. But yeah, this is this is from a well-known Oh, screw you. <laughs> Well, let's get to pile driving. Who are you predicting? Themselves? Named Ponder, got it right. That's a good point. I wasn't even thinking about back to basics. Come on, basic. Or not. No, what do you call it? Terminus. <sighs> this guy. I know I'm trying to bleed him out. Mm. 
Is Mishra's Bobble the long con here? Everybody's favorite. You ready for this? It'd be a shame. It'd be a shame if I shot that poor monk in the face. I gotta admit, that felt pretty freaking good. Uh, I got this. Is this any good? Yeah, Chain Whirler, baby. Now, I am six. I am six hundred and fifty percent likely to get hit by a terminus here. Well, we survived the first 650%. Are they just going to draw it? Because that's just going to make me mad. Tough but fair. Taste it! Woo! Don't let your monks get incinerated they don't like it all right two and two one more well obviously it's good for goblins because we are the control deck we we had all of the ports to shut them down I won the die roll. Good night. Won the die roll and the best hand I've ever seen in my life. Keep. They have mulligan to six. Turn one. Cavern lackey. Turn two. Chancellor of the Annex, huh? Whatever, get wrecked. Counter this, punk. Uh, no, I will not pay. We're going to die so fast. Did they do nothing on their turn? That's great. Did they inadvertently click through their turn? Way to tell me what you're playing, champ. <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> uh, we're going to put... We're going to put these ones in. Um, uh, we're we're going to put these ones in. They're going to play multiple things. We're going to mind break trap them. All right. What sucks here? What? Uh, Chain Whirler, I don't think you're going to cut it. Gem Palm Incinerator, I don't think I have eight for Muxus. Or for mine is Muxus. I'm saying I don't have enough to. Maybe I would if I if I Muxus, I'll be able to shoot down a Gristlebrand. But I don't know what what is the what's the bad stuff. I'm thinking the the low ball ones like being able to hit like Munitions Expert isn't going to deal enough damage. The stuff that doesn't scale. Yeah. What I'm wondering is, should I... 
Is this black red reanimator? Is this blue reanimator? What am I gonna pithy? I could pithy needle gristlebrand. I guess. All right, what does this mean? I keep Crater Maker. Is Crater Maker better than? I don't know. Do I? I don't. That's not a bad idea. Like, say they go for it and I stop it, and then I can chalice the one. I don't hate that idea, Zappo. I'm going to take a Crater Maker out for that. Just because it feels like that's kind of junk. It is better than Needle, but what if we just do both? I mean, I got 61 cards. I'm full of value over here. All right, what do I got? Nothing. Keep. Ah, yeah, keep. All right. So we cavern on Lackey again if they do the Chancellor thing. Spoilers, they did not do the Chancellor thing. Simeon Spirit Guide. Elvish Spirit Guide. Is this oops? This is oops. So the question is, do you have the counter in your hand? Because we're about to look at the cards. I see a Thassa's Oracle. I, I'm I'm looking at the cards. I am looking at the cards. Yeah, they have two cards left in hand. Show me what you got. Apparently not. Apparently. Apparently not. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes you just got to go for it, right? They figured turn one on the play. You just got to just got to jam it. Just jam it. It doesn't it doesn't always work. Well, look at that. Look what we did. Managed to turn that into a 3-2. And I don't know, I'm kind of impressed. I like I said, this is not the kind of deck I would normally play. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to move this over. The The reason we played this today was that it was on the wheel. Um, what the wheel is, every uh, subscriber, if you sub to the channel, you get to give me a single card strategy or archetype or format you'd like to see. I put it on my spreadsheet. When it's your turn, we take one on, we put it up, spin it, and there we go. Speaking of, it's time for the wheel so that we can see what's going on for next time. Now, I do have to check real quick. I need to make sure I updated it from last time and that's the wrong thing so don't click on that is it this yeah i need to go into the thing where i can edit okay 
So check the wheel. And the wheel... We took Gollum. Adam, did you give me a new one? I have on here, it says Adam's Choice. What did you choose? Yeah, I can scroll back. I can find it. Whatever. We'll spin it with Adam's Choice. And if it comes up, then we'll worry about it. But otherwise, what type of stuff is on the wheel? Standard. Nick Fit. Maverick. Neoform, Play a Companion, Monastery Mentor, Thought Distortion. There's all sorts of stuff. But what will it be today? <laughs> Tune in next Tuesday for Omniscience. So... That is what has come up, but I get to choose how I play Omniscience. I mean, there's really not that many choices, but that's, that's where I get my leeway. So, thanks everybody that hung out today. I, I really do appreciate you. Shout out again to Jim Davis. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, Mana Traders, for letting me play such 61-card special decks. Uh, Aaron, are you streaming later today or is it on Thursday? I know there's one that you play after I do, but I think it's on Thursday if I, unless I'm wrong. But otherwise, let's, let's try to pass people on. So let's go searching. Let's go searching. A deck where I can hard cast omniscience? You need to calm down. Actually, I feel like I have hard cast omniscience in a deck before. I think it came down to I was playing like the blue black show and tell whatever, and I did have ancient tomb and city of traders. I think I did hard cast omniscience, and then I didn't have anything else to do. So, but I would like to say, if you are watching the channel and you like what you saw please consider following the channel and you can see me next time around. Uh, my weekly schedule, Tuesday, I play the wheel. Thursday, I try to prep for the weekend events if I'm playing in something. And then Saturday and Sunday, I try to play in a legacy or a vintage challenge where I can. This coming Saturday, I will be playing in the Mana Trader series. I qualified for the Swiss rounds in legacy. I don't exactly know what I'm playing yet, it's not going to be goblins, but that's what I'm going to do on Thursday. I need to figure <laughs> I need to figure out what I'm playing so that I can submit and lock my deck list in for the weekend. So like I said, thanks for watching. Now, let's try to find somebody that we can pass the viewers on. Don't bail out on us. I'm glad you enjoyed time with me, but let's go searching for somebody and if you have a suggestion, tell me who to raid but otherwise let's go take a look let's go look for who out there is streaming legacy 90s mtg is firing up the time has come the time has come maybe you don't want to listen to their ad yeah they're gonna play tabletop legacy with strixhaven hell yeah we're gonna go to 90s mtg although there's an mtg paper legacy i don't know maybe that but it's not quite showtime. When do they start? See, I don't want to just send you here and have you just look at this screen. So no, we're going to go to MTG Paper Legacy. Yep, that's where we're going. All right. Raid. MTG Paper. Well, first of all, let me follow him. And then raid, is it MTG Paper Legacy? All right. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.